Hey everyone, Kyle here, and today I want to talk about screen protectors. So let me start up a time-lapse replay. Um, up until now, I've been using a screen protector by a company called iCares, and I've been using that one for about a year, and this is the packaging that it came in. Um, overall, it's been a good screen protector. It's basically just a matte screen protector, which means that it has some amount of texture to the surface. Um, the benefit for drawing being that it gives you increased resistance while you're drawing so your pen or pencil isn't sliding around uncontrollably. So I was approached by a company, got an email from Jan at a company called Paperlike, and they wanted to send me a screen protector to test out. So that's what I have on here now, and I gotta say it's, it's good. Up until now, the iCares one has served me really well. I like the amount of texture that's on it, but this one has a little bit more aggressive of a texturing, and I feel that that makes the art experience just a little bit better. I've been using this screen protector on here for about a week, so I've done maybe 15 hours of drawing on it, and I've gotten a pretty good feel for the differences in that time. As far as installation goes, I think both the iCares and the Paperlike are pretty similar in how much effort it takes to install. They come with a set of stickers that you use as like hinges, and then you flip it up, peel off the part that's covering the sticky side, put that down, and then with the other protective layer on the top still, you scrape out any bubbles that you get and it leaves like a pretty good finish. My first time doing it, I didn't clean the screen good enough, so I got some really bad bubbles, uh, but I took that one off, cleaned it again, and then I got it basically perfect. I do have a couple of little bubbles up here, but it's not gonna drive me crazy. Um, as far as the visual impact, if I go to a white drawing here, any textured uh, matte screen protector is going to change the way that the screen looks a little bit. It causes a kind of rainbow effect, and the reason for that is the texture causes the light to refract, so it separates each pixel into a RG and B value that you can kind of see, so it makes it kind of like a speckled rainbow. Uh, the iCares one was the exact same. Uh, this one doesn't feel any better or worse, but as far as pressure sensitivity, there's no change there. You can see I can really easily go from very light to very dark. Uh, this is the Procreate 6B pencil. I've adjusted it a little bit, but very easy to go from light to dark, even in a single stroke. I can go like that. So the company's name is Paperlike, and I don't feel that this does feel like paper. Uh, it definitely feels like you're still drawing digitally. Um, it feels closer to paper than before, and I think the increased texture, even over other screen protectors like the iCares, makes it feel more like paper, but it makes it approach like a Cintiq level of texture or a Intuos Pro level of texture. It's not something that you're going to confuse for drawing on paper. But overall, I think this is probably the best screen protector of the two that I've used, and I've used a couple others on other people's iPads. I would recommend getting one if you're going to be using it for art. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if it was. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.